Like, who made beats like this, bro? This video today, I'm flipping y'all's loops, bro. I asked some of the homies for loops. I asked some viewers for loops, you know what I'm saying? And they sent they sent through. I'm only gonna do two today and two of my homies. But if y'all want your loops flipped on video, send them. My email is in the description. Go down there. But here we go. It's also gonna be on the screen if you wanna send me loops. This was the original loop, guys. This is not my sixth time playing it. All right, so basically for the intro, right? What you do is you take your original loop, right? And I cut it up and added an effect to it. I cut it up and put a portal preset on it because the loop itself was super, super, super simple, right? And I put a magic shimmer on it. And then I cut the loop where it was literally the first chord. So it's like repeating chord over and over. This is what it sounds like. And then that with an effect, with all the drums and all that, after I exported it as a wave, I brought it in here, turned the volume down, pitched, put the range at 12, right? And then I put this on stretch mode. I didn't mess with the time. Or I put the pitch all the way up. And then after that, I create an automation clip by right clicking this and then clicking create automation clip. And then after I do that, I just mess with it. I get up and down to make it faster, slower, all that. And then boom. You With all the other effects that I added, I added halftime on the master, halftime with the one fourth, and then two X. And then after that, I added my own sound effect. I took a Benton sound and I made it into a riser. And then after that, ghost beat on the master. Yeah, I do. I went over here, went to momentary, and then I put vinyl off. Whichever part that you wanted to have that little. That little vinyl off effect you basically just create the automation clip right here right click this create automation clip and then come in and then put it highlighted only on the part that you want the vinyl effect on so if you want it at the end like mine for the melody though what i did so i added some extra counter melodies and all that stuff A little counter mounting part with a little thing from Surge. Forever. That's basically it. So we got Surge, 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 Serum, Wave Station. So that's what I encourage y'all to do if you're making beats. Just go through a bunch of random sounds. You'll stumble upon the one that you need eventually, you know? And you might find something new. That's what I've been doing. Looking for new things by just randomly scrolling. All right, after that, Basically, I got this for the drums. And then I had a second 808 over here. After that, you have the whole thing together. second sample that i flipped is from cory beats i'll put his tag on the screen this is the original and then this is what i did i added some wave station stuff this is the bass right here i added a little pad right here and then my drop, my tag, his tag, and then one more melody right here. I added this on top of it. On his, I added this that comes in and out every eight bars or four bars. KP, answer me. KP going crazy. Alright, the 
yeah, basically that's the melody, and then the drums. Just an industry spin, and then some try free infinity. Or the whole thing together. KP, answer me. KP going crazy. y'all that is the first video of 2023 that's the conclusion bro these are some of the first few beats i made this year but yeah hope you enjoyed the video drop a like so you don't want to send me samples and loops and all that send it to my email i'll put it right right there bro i'll put my email right there but y'all go send me some loops flood it real quick and yeah i'll see you on the next video peace out y'all